Or Shalom. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Israel that were well. Elders of the great millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect out there. That are sincere. And uh, faithful believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Um, I got an article I want to bring up. Um, this is uh, on uh, Infowars.com. And uh, the article is entitled, Federal Judge, Bring Back the Firing Squad Guillotine. Okay. Now, um, it's been recently brought out that uh, America wants to bring back the firing squad for executions. Okay. Instead of lethal injections. Injections. Okay. And there has been um, also legislation on the books from here in Georgia from the House of uh, Representatives going back I believe to 1996 um, to bring back the guillotine as well okay well um, in this article um, it's gonna we're gonna uh, focus on the guillotine okay because it's not just um, uh, it's not just something that Georgia wants to do okay as as was proposed in 1996, but it's now um, gaining more momentum um, nationally, okay? So it says, Federal Judge, bring back the firing squad guillotine. Appeal Judge says guillotine probably best for executions, okay? So they say that the guillotine is probably the best, um, the best, um, will probably be the best option for, for um, executing um, inmates, criminals, dissenters, and insurgents, okay, of America. All right. Um, I'm trying to get some meat out of this article. It says, um, <clears throat> it says a federal appeals judge issued a blistering dissent in a death row case on Monday declaring that an execution system that relies on drugs is doomed and the guillotine would be better okay so instead of uh, relying on drugs they want to bring back the guillotine okay uh, and this article is from uh, July 22nd so it was a couple of days ago it says using drugs meant for individuals with medical needs to carry out executions is a misguided effort to master brutality of executions by making them look serene and peaceful like something any one of us might experience in our final moments, Judge Alex Kaczynski of the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals wrote. But executions are in fact nothing like that. They are brutal, savage events and nothing the state tries to do can mask that reality, nor should it. Okay, so he's basically trying to paint the picture that look, well, executions are really something of um, um, a grotesque type of nature. So he might as well bring back the guillotine. All right. It says, if we as a society want to carry out executions, we should be willing to face the fact that the state is committing a horrendous brutality on our behalf. Okay. Now, there's um, an article from read more and I'm gonna go a little bit into that article which that that link uh, took me to NBC News okay it says lethal injection uh, appeals judge says guillotine probably best for executions all right um, this is some of what the Alex Jones article had all right and um, there's a video here going to lethal is uh, lethal injection painful. So basically, they want to they I guess they're trying to say that that lethal injections is not working. So we want to bring in the um, the guillotine. Uh, it says Kaczynski went on to suggest that states that want to continue executing prisoners return to more primitive and foolproof methods of execution. Okay. It says the guillotine is probably best, but seems inconsistent with our national ethos. And the electric chair, hanging, and the gas chamber are each subject 
to occasional mishaps, he continued. The firing squad strikes me as the most promising. Eight or ten large caliber rifle bullets fired at close range can inflict massive damage, causing instant death every time. It says Kaczynski's recommendations came in a dissent, he wrote, in the case of Joseph Wood, an Arizona prisoner sentenced to die for murdering his girlfriend and her father in 1989. Okay. So they want to bring back the firing squad, the guillotine, okay, as um, a more, f they, they declared that it's a more of a foolproof method, okay, instead of waiting for somebody to die by injecting him with uh, chemicals or uh, poisonous, which they are poisonous chemicals, but these different uh, so-called um, um, drugs that they a a administer, okay. Um, and just the guy here. Uh, let's uh, let's scroll down some. Um, all right, it says. Um, uh, all right, I'm a, I'm gonna read here. It says, I have little doubt that the Supreme Court will thwart this latest attempt to interfere with the state of Arizona's efforts to carry out its lawful sentence and bring Wood to justice for the heinous crimes he committed a quarter century ago, he said. While I believe the state should and will prevail in this case, I don't understand why the game is worth the candle, Kaczynski wrote. A tremendous number of taxpayer dollars have gone into defending a procedure that is inherently flawed and ultimately doomed to failure. If the state wishes to, carry, to continue carrying out executions, it would be better to own up that using drugs is a mistake. Okay? So you got these different judges... And uh, lawmakers that say that using drugs is a mistake because recently you had a lot of uh, um, different inmates that have taken these um, these lethal injection drugs and have been surviving or have died uh, uh, um, long drawn out uh, painful deaths. OK, so now they want to bring back a, a quicker but more brutal way to put the um inmates and different criminals to death so it says uh using drugs is a mistake and come up with something that will work instead okay and that's going into bringing back the guillotine um it says the use of lethal injections has been under increased scrutiny in recent months largely largely due to the botched execution of clayton lockett in oklahoma who regained consciousness and writhed in pain midway through the procedure, okay? Just like I was saying. And he wasn't the only one that has uh, gone through this just this year. There's been other inmates as well. Um, it says states have also faced increasing difficulty in obtaining execution drugs because pharmaceutical companies refuse to sell them for the purpose of killing people. They have turned to less regulated compounding pharmacies and tried to keep them anonymous to protect them from legal hassles and protests. Okay, so um, it says a wave of inmates have challenged the secrecy laws and rules, but so far the U.S. Supreme Court has not stopped an execution on that basis, although some states are considering other methods. Okay. Um, and that's it for this article. So basically, they're saying that the lethal ingestion drugs aren't working. They want to bring back the firing squads, of course. And, and, and now, like I said, now nationally, okay, according to a federal judge, they want to bring back the guillotine, okay? Now, it's talked about other methods, okay? So I have another article, okay, which what else they want to bring back is the electric chair. Okay. Uh, and I'm just gonna read some of this article. Um, this article is also from NBC News. Uh, they want to bring back the electric chair, as you can see in the image. It says, "What could go wrong? Electric chair poised to make a comeback." Okay. 
So Esau is coming up with all kinds of ways to start putting people to death, man. Okay, and 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 mainly is is of course talking about um, us Israelites. All right, uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those of us that know that we're Israelites. Okay, because we make up what most of the uh, prison population. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna get that. Uh, the Book of Jeremiah. Uh, four. Let me see the Book of Jeremiah. Uh, because we make up most of the prison population, anyway. So with them bringing back the electric chair, they want to bring back the guillotine. They want to bring in the firing squads, uh, pursuing the other legislation. Okay. Um. So in the other legislation, they want to uh, <clears throat> basically do away with uh, Israel, okay? But um, it's all a part of that 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 new world order that they're trying to set up, okay? <clears throat> Um, <coughs> but basically, the scripture says that they want that um, they hide Israel in uh, the prison houses. Okay. All right. Israel is um, basically uh, left as prey, <coughs> so can, to this um, uh prison industrial complex that Esau got set up so they want to bring him back more gruesome ways to execute more Israelites more quickly that's what this is about and also when they start um, cracking down on America and bringing in um, uh, martial law and bringing in martial law when they put people in the concentration camps that's what's going to um, uh, be a a quicker way of, of, of executing those that uh, don't want to take the chip, for example, okay? Because the RFID chip is the mark of the beast, for the record. And those of us that um, refuse it will be put to death. <coughs> um, so I'm getting into this article. Uh, it says... Um, It says a shortage of lethal injection drugs has prompted lawmakers in several death penalty states to make noise about bringing back more primitive methods of execution. This week, Tennessee became the first one to actually do it. Governor Bill Haslam, a Republican, signed the law late Thursday that would make the electric chair the backup if the state, if the state can obtain the chemicals for its injection protocol. Prison officials say they are confident it won't come to that, but the prospect sent shutters through some death penalty experts. Uh, it says there have been a lot of horrific electrocutions, said Fordham Law School professor Deborah Denno, who has studied the electric chair extensively. Going back in time is not a good thing. Um, here's a look at the past and possible future of the electric chair. Uh, so Tennessee is using it. Uh, let's see. Uh, this, uh, why is Tennessee using the electric the electric chair as backup? It says they drafted a bill that would make the electric chair the automatic backup method, and the governor signed it Thursday night. Previously, electrocution was used only if an inmate convicted before 1999 chose it. Okay. So they're um, they're still using the uh, lethal injections as it is moment, but more and more states are going to start to um, use these different prim so-called primitive execution methods as um, as um, um, backup options. Uh, it says, "Will the new law stand up to legal challenges?" Um, it says courts in two states, Georgia and Nebraska, 
have declared the electric chair unconstitutional. Now, uh, Georgia was the same state that wanted to bring back the guillotine. Okay? So all those electric chairs are unconstitutional. They would bring back the 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 uh the guillotine. So more and more states I guess have their their different particular options of what's unconstitutional or cruel and and, and unusual punishment. But at the end of the day, once martial law is declared, um <clears throat> it's gonna be it's it's gonna be anything goes anyway. Summary executions uh, uh, with well, this electric chair, guillotines are definitely coming back, okay. And um, pursuing the prophecy and uh, other methods, you know. So, I mean, but this is basically the, the things that Esau has, has um, uh, in store for when the time of martial law is actually declared, okay. So going into the scriptures, um, let's see. Uh, let's go to the Blue Letter Bible. Go to the Blue Letter, and uh, let's get some scriptures out. Because all of these things, these different executions and and um, um, these different methods of putting people to death, putting people to death, that's exactly what the Lord had uh, spoke about in um, the scriptures. All right. <clears throat> and one of those. One of those uh, methods of of execution, being the guillotine, is uh, prophesied in the Bible. And uh, my computer is a uh, moving slow, but I'm gonna read it. Uh, this is uh, Revelation chapter twenty, verse four. It says, "And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them." Okay, now the the, uh, the them being the uh, the uh, elect one third of Israel, it says, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. Okay, because when the uh, the hour of temptation comes, when martial law is declared, when all hell breaks loose in America, um, a lot of us brothers in this truth. Are going to be beheaded for this word for uh, Yahweh Shai's namesake, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's namesake. Okay. All right. It says, um, "I saw the souls of them that were beheaded." Okay. Now, now to be beheaded, you would have to have your head taken off. And 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 what does that go back to? Uh, the article I read about the guillotine. Um. Um. Coming back to different states, as a federal judge said, the guillotine should come back. Okay. All right. It says, and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast. Okay. Uh, neither his image, neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. All right. So they didn't take. So those that are beheaded are those that are going to endure until the end. That's going to resist this system and not take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. It says, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. All right. <clears throat> so, so I mean, although they're bringing this legislation back, although these things are coming back um, on the books. For um, uh, Esau to use when the time is, um, is right and when the need arises, there's going to be a crown to be put on uh, uh, us elect brothers' heads, okay, for that time period, okay, if we endure until the end, 
All right, so I'm going to uh, read Revelation 20 and 4 now that it's popped up. Uh, it says, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, to the elect. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years was, were finished. This is the first resurrection. Verse 6. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. The elect, the 144,000 um, of Israel. And uh, uh, the rest of the one third. On such the second death hath no power. Which is the, the nuclear destruction. Because ultimately America is going to be destroyed by uh, nuclear missiles. Okay. Which uh, that which is going to bring fire, which is the second death, okay? Because the first death was water during the time of Noah, okay? So it says, and on such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of the Most High and of Yahweh Shai, and shall reign with him a thousand years. So the elect that endure this hell that that's coming, okay? They want to bring back the guillotine. They want to bring back the electric chair. They want to bring back the firing squad, uh, uh, hanging. Uh, they got summary executions on the books. They got all kinds of uh, 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 other tortures. They got concentration camps coming, uh, uh, waterboarding. They got all kinds of, uh, uh, of um, um, lethal tortures on the books to destroy the elect of Israel. Okay, and if you have to uh, um, um, endure those things and you do die don't worry about it because like the scripture says um those that endure until the end shall be saved and those that do die are going to be um, resurrected first and in revelation 20 and 4 it says we shall reign and live with the house shy a thousand years all right so uh there's no need no, to to worry about these things although we should know about them Okay, and that's what they want to do. All right. Uh, like I said, I got this from Infowars.com. Uh, it says federal judge bring back the firing squad, the guillotine. Appeal appeals judge says guillotine probably best for executions. Okay. And all that's gonna come in in due time once um, martial law is totally declared on America. All right. Uh, so with that, I hope you all were edified. Um, give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, double orders to the elders and shalom to the elect and um, enduring to the end. And with that, I'm going to say shalom.